Hey guys, what is up the NeoCubist here? Welcome to episode 4 of my Neo Network SMP Let's Play. Okay guys, I think this is going to be the best episode of any Minecraft series I've ever recorded. So as you can see, you know, this house is a little bit lackluster. It kind of, well it kind of sucks, if I'm completely honest. So, I spent three hours last night streaming, and we mined out all of our claim chunks to a pretty high degree. Obviously they go all the way up to the skyline, but we're not gonna mine them out that big. But as you can see, we made a lot of progress and I'll put the stream on the screen now. If you guys wanna go watch that, just head over to the live tab on my channel and it's uploaded there. So obviously I didn't wanna record this like, cause there's no point in you know having an entire episode of mining. Now the reason I did this is I really need a bigger base and I also wanna really upgrade my security. So we can get kind of like an you know external view of what our house looks like now. Um, we're gonna be tearing it down right now as well, which is gonna be kind of interesting. Um, but that was our like entire base. We'll go over here, through the cows, up to the roof. And you can see that like, this is literally our entire base. Like, <laughs> it's not a very big base. And then this, the majority of it was this giant tree farm. So, this is the ladder to get all the way to the surface. And I gotta show you what's going on up there in a minute because it's absolutely insane. I think our cords got leaked like badly. I know everyone kind of knew where they were, but there's so much up there now, you wouldn't believe it. So while we're digging out this insanely large area, keep in mind we have a fortune three pickaxe. I did get fortune three during the stream last night. I just enchanted a pickaxe and the first one had fortune three. We have almost two stacks of diamonds, right? But diamonds aren't really that important. We just need them to repair our tools until we get mending. Uh, we also found a slime chunk. There's no slimes over there now, but I think there's two slime chunks actually. But yeah, I'm gonna destroy the entire house. You'll get to see that, and then we're gonna build a new one. Operation Clearing House complete. As you can see, our house is gone, and you may be sad, but I promise what we're gonna build today is gonna blow your mind. So I have a big, big plan. I wanna build a giant lava moat surrounded by obsidian on the edge of our claim. Um, if you look at this, we dug this out in like the exact area of our claim. So you can see our like claim wall is right here, and then we put it in like one block. So that way, if people are over here breaking stuff, they can break everything, but they cannot break this block right here because it's technically inside my claim. We will be removing this outer wall at some point so people can come around here and uh, look at me when I record and break out the wall and everything. Um, but I wrote down on these signs, I, I stream from like 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. Um, make big tree farm, I already did that. I've been farming trees. Make the floor grass, which we're gonna do. Make a lava moat, and then lastly, build an epic base. We also need to get a ton of obsidian. I got some of it off of camera. I think we'll probably get some more on camera because we have efficiency five, so it's really actually pretty quick. Plus, when you activate the super breaker, it's even quicker. So the plan is, is to dig this whole entire thing down one more block and then go grab a bunch of uh, grass with our silk touch uh, ax here, right here, or sorry, shovel, and then put it on the same layer as bedrock. That way it'll be bedrock and grass, which is like a total like, you know, they're like total antonyms, right? Like one, is like down at the very bottom of the world. One is at the very top of the world. So we'll have grass and bedrock flooring surrounded by lava moat with an epic base in the middle that you guys can come on and check out. Sound like a plan? Good. So I'm gonna go to the resource world and I'm gonna get a bunch of grass now. But yeah, before I do that, I gotta you know clean up my inventory just a little bit. Um, maybe, maybe put a few torches down because it is fairly dark and I don't want mobs to spawn. Um, but we ended up filling up this chest all the way to like this chest right here, so we have a lot of stone type materials, like an absolute ton, which is nice. I don't know if we'll use them for the base or not. And then remember, this is where we were smelting our steak. And of course, we still have our cows. I surrounded them by fence so they wouldn't escape, and it seems to be working pretty well. Okay, grass time. Now, this would be an absolutely great place to grab grass, except for the fact that it's, you know, about to be dark. That's not great, but... I think we can manage here, so all I'm gonna do with my silk touch is just... So I don't think you wanna watch that. So I'm in the custom biome world just getting grass, and I just had to show you guys like how beautiful the custom biome world is on here. And like if you're playing on your phone or whatever, you can still come to these biomes and like play in them like a normal survival world. Just like, look at these trees, man. And then we got this custom ice spike biome, and then we have this cherry blossom forest, and then we have a nice snow custom biome. Like, dude. 
Oh, it's so beautiful. The world is so beautiful here. Oh, and if you're wondering why I have so much money on the right, that's just because when I was doing the, all the mining, um, which I did have some help from staff, they came around and helped me too. But when I was doing my mining quest, I unlocked this one and got $500,000. Okay, well, I feel like this will be enough dirt, but I'm not exactly sure. So now I get to break the entire floor out to the bedrock level, and then we'll have to go back and break it out another level in line with the bedrock like this. That way we can replace everything in between with grass. It's going to look really cool, but it's going to take a long time, so let's replay it. Well guys, that took me about an hour and 30 minutes, so if you guys wouldn't mind leaving a like on the video and subscribing if you're not subscribed, I would very much so appreciate it. But doesn't this look cool? It's like the whole yin and yang thing because we have grass and then bedrock, so the surface material next to the lowest material in the game. I think personally it looks really cool and we're going to do a lot of fun stuff in here and we have room to build like an actual base in here now instead of just like a little weird house. Anyways, I wanted to go to the surface to show off Neo Town, which is what I guess I had called it in a video and the name kind of stuck and everyone that builds here has built signs saying Neo Town and the likes. So let's go up to the surface and check out what players have been up to. Alright guys, I need you to prepare yourselves because I think it's going to be kind of a shock. And is it night? It's night. Okay, I'm going to wait for it to be day and then I'll, and then I'll let you have your shock. Okay, well, it should be day now. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. All right, and I'll set a little reminder. I hear TNT. I see people too. Look at everything around here. Someone's building a statue of me. We have the Neo Town logo over here. Just look at all this stuff. I'm going to turn off like the, the chunk claim particles because there's lots of chunks around here. But look how many hearts there is. There used to be so, so few. And now there's so, so many. And uh, over here. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, it's even bigger now! Someone has made a giant map. Yo, what's up guys? Someone has made a giant map of our entire town. Like, look at this, dude. Absolutely incredible. Um, we're like right... We're right there. And look at this, dude. Isn't that crazy? Then we have a nice sign over here. We'll get a little pause here if you guys want to read all this stuff on there. But yeah, thank you to everyone for making this a very special town, guys. I really do appreciate it. There's so many people here. Somebody even built like a mayor hall, a uh, town hall and where the mayor lives. Uh, no enter unless, unless I'm their mayor, unless you, Neo, let me tour you. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I can go in here because I'm, I'm Neo, apparently. I think maybe they are the person who built it. But it's a nice looking house and it looks like it's the... Uh, Looks like it's the town hall, which is really cool, but guys, there's so much for me to explore. I may end up just doing a video just running around here, um, but let's show you some of the highlights. So you can see this beautiful path, right? Like this absolutely gorgeous path. This was built by that same person. Do you remember the house I showed you guys? The one up on that hill? They built a giant like magical path all the way up to their house. Let's go check it out now. So yeah, guys, they put some real effort into this. Like this is absolutely here. Thank you again for such an amazing road for Neo Town. Like, everyone on here is so nice, and I really like it. It looks like the door is open, so maybe I can pop in here. It looks like the egg was in here. But, dude, it's so cool just to see all this stuff progress. And, of course, the path over down here. I think this is where their mob spawners are. Remember that bench that we sat on? I believe it was, yeah, right down there. And then they have their mob farm in here, which is super cool. So, it's really cool to see the town kind of get bigger and bigger. I have one more special build I really want to show you guys. And keep in mind, if you have other builds here, like, I will be showing off more stuff here, but I can't make the whole video about this. We're transforming our base today. Um, but maybe if you guys want to see, like, a video where it's just me exploring the town, let me know in the comments. Because there is a lot to explore, dude. People have definitely found my coordinates. And uh, we'll build something above ground eventually, but I do want to have my main base to be kind of underground. But let me go show you the best build I think I've ever seen. And you can get a little sneak peek preview just from down here. 
Um, someone built a pool here. Like, dude, there's so much. I might go up on a pole before I go back underground and just kind of look around and just peek at everything because people have been building paths and like you can actually run around the town. So come check out the server if you haven't yet. I'd love to see you guys around here building. That would be awesome. All right, now here we are, guys. And I just have to tell you, like I've seen a lot of builds playing this game for like the past 11 or 12 years. And I think this honestly might be my favorite build ever. Like the attention to detail Stella has on this build is just absolutely wild. It is so beautiful. And I don't know if I can get inside. No, I can't. I can kind of peek inside. Uh, m maybe when we do a video actually exploring it, we'll get their permission to go in and look at it. But like, dude, it is just, <laughs> it's on another level. And they even have this like magical floating portal up here that they built. Dude, absolutely incredible. Well, before it gets too dark, let's peer over the edge on top of the Neo Town Mountain or whatever it's called. And let's just get a little look-sees over the town and uh, check out just kind of how everything's going. Because let me just tell you right now, things are going very very well look at this people are over there building like oh yeah and by the way guys if you wouldn't mind let me see if i can parkour this Ugh! oh we did it yeah if you guys wouldn't mind i'd really appreciate if you let me get closer to this sign i think you know what it says please don't die but yeah guys i'd really appreciate it if you would uh <laughs> so that's so cool and look someone put neo equals goat at the top of like the sky over there like, dude, it's just, oh, it's a vibe here, man. It's a vibe. Okay, well, let's go transform our base now that we have the kind of, like, base area built. There's even Neo up there. <laughs> oh, you guys are incredible. All right, well, we're back down in the base now, as you can see. And basically, the idea is that I want people to be able to peek in here. So when we're done with our base, we'll go ahead and, like, remove this wall. Um, let me turn my claim, my claim boundaries back on so I can see them. And as you can see, this is like our claim boundary right here. So I'm going to break down this wall eventually. And then if I were to put like lava right here, the issue is, is that players would probably put water here and it would turn it into like, I don't know, it, it would be bad. So I'm going to do a layer of obsidian all along this block and all along like this block. Uh, maybe something like this. And then... I don't know. I'm going to figure it out, but when I get the idea, I'll come back and we'll show you, and I think it's going to be awesome. Okay, so to start this off, this is all the obsidian I've gathered. I realize now I'm going to have to go get, like, a ton more, um, but I also realize now I'm going to need a ton of buckets, and uh, this is not really an auto smelter, but I could make it an auto smelter. Um, so all we have to do is just, like, swap the furnace here and then give it some fuel, which we have plenty of. Just like that take that out and then we just have to put the iron up here and then we'll end up with a bunch of iron ingots because we need a bunch of buckets like lava buckets so we're gonna go on a big lava and obsidian journey i won't film a ton of it because it'll be like super boring and i believe we already have two water buckets so if we can find an area we need to make infinite water before we do anything okay so the general idea since this wall is going to be like completely gone let's go back over here where we were and uh, since this wall is going to be completely gone, right? I think the, hmm. Okay, yeah, I, ha I have the idea. So this will be here. And then we'll have like, we'll just pretend like this goes around the whole thing. Then we'll have a layer of water here. Um, it'll be like solid water around the whole thing. And then inside here, one, we'll have a layer of lava that you just can't get around. I think that would be pretty cool. Because um, if we do just solid lava, the issue is, is someone's going to put a water bucket up here and it's just going to turn it into that. Uh, but with this here, you can't get the water past the water. It will just flow into this water. So let's go gather just an absolute ton of obsidian, like way more than we think we're ever going to need. And the cool thing is, if I use my super breaker, look how fast I can break obsidian. So it really doesn't take very long to get it at all. So I'll come back with a bunch. Well, I'm in the resource world and I haven't found any lava yet. Um, I did bring a lot of buckets with me, but I haven't found any lava, but I have found 34 diamonds already. Um, I also found what appears to be close to an ancient city, which is absolutely great, right? That's what we're looking for. Oh, I'm so excited to mine obsidian. Oh, yeah, and you'll notice I have $1.685 million. That's just from my achievements. I got that while I was digging out the floor, so that was a million dollars. We have $1.685 million now. Nice. 
Okay, well, this is what I've got. That took way too long. <laughs> like, it, it took probably 30 minutes to get to such obsidian. So it's definitely slow going, but we have all these lava buckets as well. If we need to get more, I know how to get back there fairly easily. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break out the bottom layer of the entire wall. And then we're just going to do this exact pattern along the entire thing. Yeah, it'll intrude into our space a little bit, but this will prevent anyone from glitching in with boats and stuff like that. Unless they can swim in water and lava, in which case we're going to have a problem. Um, actually, I need to do some testing. I'm not sure. Actually, I think the boat will sink. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine. Okay, let's do it. Okay, guys. Well, as you can see, the exterior security wall is now built. And now I get to fill in this row with water, which will be easy. And then filling this row in with lava is going to take probably an hour or two. So this episode has been probably about 16 hours in the making. Easily one of the craziest projects I've ever done. So please leave a like. But when I come back, this will be full of lava. This will be, a wa be full of water. I'm going to have to go back and forth like 100 times between that lava pocket. But hey, it's all worth it, man. It's all worth it. Let's go over here. Let's just do a little bit on camera. Um, and then I look at a ton of stone, dude. This chest is getting full. We have so much stone. <laughs> There's so many wood materials, too. We don't have a way to get back. I, I did have to modify the cow pen a little bit. Uh, we'll figure out a way to get into the cow pen again eventually. But for now, they're hanging out. We have one cow outside of it. Maybe we'll have to take care of that. But, eh, shouldn't be a huge deal. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, sure, we'll just put fence in there. So the lava is going to be like this, basically, along the entire thing. So I'll just make my inventory into a line of buckets. And then we just get to do this <laughs> along the entire thing. It's going to take it's gonna take a long time. That's why I'm asking for a light, because <laughs> it's going to take a long time. Uh, but let's just show you, for example, here with the water. It'll be pretty quick. You just put them with a one block space in between. You just need one water bucket. So we'll go ahead and do this one now. guys it's been a while but it's finally complete and it looks so cool dude now of course this wall again will be broken whenever I'm like comfortable breaking it when I have a base to show everyone um, and you're welcome to come down here and peer in whenever that happens but we need to build a base and we have quite a large area to do so um, obviously this is not gonna be our base just a bunch of chests thrown out about you know on the ground um, I got myself some of my diamonds because, dude, we have over two and a half stacks of diamonds um, just from mining. And, like, I, I obviously finding lava is near diamonds, so I got even more. And then we did get a lot of wood, which is good because we're going to need that for the house. Um, I don't know exactly how the house is going to be, and we can't put it too close to the lava. Uh, otherwise, it will burn, and that wouldn't be good. Like, look, there's already people over here messing around. That's what I'm telling you guys. People are trying to get in, so we gotta we gotta make it secure. Um, but yeah, I want to make a full set of diamond armor. Uh, my armor was almost broken. I lost my pants in a fight, and I also lost my helmet and my boots. I only had my chest plate left, and I was like, you know what? We're just gonna make a full set of diamond armor. I'm not sure why we didn't already have that, to be honest. I guess I just sort of forgot that we only had uh, <laughs> we only had iron armor. So let's go over here, and hopefully we can get some good enchants. We don't have like a ton of XP. Uh, mm, I'm definitely not gonna be taking that. That's terrible. Okay, well, I'll see what we can get. We'll, we'll film one more roll on the chest plate, and maybe it'll be protection four. Because if the chest the chest plate's protection four, I don't care what the rest is. Are you serious? Is it bugged or something? Is it just gonna keep giving me fire protection four? Protection four. <gasps> oh, okay. What about the pants? Protection four. Please, protection four. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Okay. Fire protection for aqua affinity unbreaking. You know what? To be honest with you, I'm not super happy with the boots, and we have enough XP to roll it one more time. Okay. 
protection for. I'll take it. Look at that, dude. Now we're geared up. Okay, well, let me start planning a base. Of course, we'll show a good bit of it on camera. I'm trying to figure out what kind of base to build, though. And then there's the matter of, well, where do we want to build the base? Now, I want this thing to be fairly large. Um, and I want to have a border around it that's even. So I'm going to go in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably, on the edge, something like this. Uh, I think this area over here is going to be where my base is. And then I'm going to do kind of the same thing over here, but diagonal. Kind of going inside. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we should get everything lined up. Now, again, this is just kind of a rough draft because this thing is going to be absolutely huge. And we need to run over directly on this block. Okay. And then seven. And then we go up again. And then, yeah, something like this. And then we'll go in this line here and build it and one more over yep should be good cool so this should be a bigger house than what we have and obviously we can add on to it we don't need like a ridiculously large base to start off with and uh, once we remove the wall at the end of the episode we'll see if people can still glitch in with boats and stuff you guys are welcome to try and if that happens maybe we'll do an iron mining live stream and just mine like a ridiculous amount of iron and make some like nice looking iron high security fence i think that could be pretty cool too uh but yeah it's going to be a lot of you know trial and error on what i'm going to build so i'm going to do most of it on the replay mod because you don't want to see me going ah this looks bad wait okay i'll do this so yeah enjoy it hopefully we come out with something good i'm going to try to use a lot of deep slate i'm going to integrate that because we have a double chest full Okay, guys, well, there you go. For the most part, it's complete. Let me stop the replay recording. And yeah, I'm pretty proud of this. I think it looks pretty cool. It obviously just needs windows at this point. Um, I also realized that when you're inside your claim, you can use night vision. Obviously, this thing's very dark, so we need to use some lanterns or something to light it up, which we will, of course, do. Um, so let me make some lanterns before we get any further and we forget. Uh, mobs are already spawning on top of there as well. So I want to cap those with some slabs. And I was looking through the uh, menu here just to kind of see what other kind of slabs can we make. And we may... We may use some deep slate brick, I guess, to top these with. Um, so that would be cool. Um, and then let's go ahead and just make ourselves... I think our iron is on here. Right? We used most of our iron, right? But we can still make it a little bit. <laughs> we have no inventory space. But yeah, I mean, I think that this is a pretty good base. I mean, it's literally an above ground base, just underground, which I think is, has a really cool factor to it. Um, you may not like it, but that's okay. It's my base, man. And I'm trying to see what else we can do, because, I mean, I've been recording for like six hours, something like that. And uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think, do I just want to hang the lantern off the top, or do I want to put like maybe some more depth and we could take some stairs made of deep slate tile let's try that okay and then let's just see how this looks so what i'm thinking is like right in front of all these like this we just put like a a stair like that and then we hang oh that even gives the roof a really cool effect as well oh i like that a lot so then we hang the lantern from those yeah, dude, that's... Oh, and it gives the roof a nice, nice, like, connected feel. I just feel like every build is the same nowadays. They're always these, like, uh... What is it? Cottage core kind of builds. And like I said, I've always gone on these rants. I want to do stuff that's a little bit different than those. I feel like those are a little bit overdone. I've been getting absolutely attacked by slimes. So I've just started ignoring them. It's a little bit difficult. Um, but yeah, this house is cool. We're gonna have to go find some sand. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to go above ground to get it. There's not really another way to get it. Um, especially this deep underground, but let's take a little peek at how this thing looks. Oh yeah, dude. And let's go ahead and go grab some sand and I'm going to finish doing the rest around the other side. There we go. And just enough lanterns. I only had one extra and, uh, I will tell you what and break that. 
Um, I did add those slabs and added a little bit extra. I think this thing is turning out to look like super cool. Um, it's definitely a pretty unique build. Now we just got to go give it some glass. That way it doesn't look so plain. And uh, yeah, I'll just go get some glass somewhere in the world. It'll take like two seconds. Also got to get a few squids so I can make the glass black and make this look even more sleek. We're going to go for that contrasting oak wood. Oh, I already made this into black dye. Uh, I don't need 61 iron nuggets. I think I'll be okay there. Okay, I'm back home. I got a bunch of black dye. I got a bunch of glass smelting up and I'll come back when it's done. We'll make the windows on the replay mod. We'll make it look nice and fresh and then we should be good. Now, if we turn off night vision, yeah, the house is definitely a lot brighter. Mobs can't spawn on any uh, spawn on it either because the whole ceiling is deep slate tile. I did not plan out this build. I literally just freestyled this. I'm really proud of it. I'm so happy. I thought it was going to turn out really bad. And yeah. Oh, this is such a weird place. We can plant trees. Obviously, we have our cow farm and this stuff has got to go as soon as possible, too. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look how beautiful this is. So this isn't for sure that I'll use the tough floor, but like I've never used tough for anything. And I, I, I'm, I'm kind of liking the floor, I'm not gonna lie. Went with the cobblestone floor down here. Some people may be like, Neo, please, not the cobblestone. Um, but I think it blends well nicely with the bedrock. But if you have suggestions, you wanna see either of these floor materials changed, please let me know down in the comments below. Well, I know this was a shorter episode, but you gotta keep in mind it took me like, 16 hours to make this including last night's stream and i'd say we got a pretty cool base out of it i am a huge fan i really like it there's already a bat in there which is interesting but it's got a lot of depth to it and uh i think it looks pretty cool the nice black windows go nicely with every uh all the deep slate stuff but anyways thank you guys for watching again i would love to see you guys on the server um i actually set a home up here so we can just go up here whenever we want so let's go check out Neo Town one final time before we leave and uh, see if we're missing anything. Again, I mean, everyone's just going absolutely crazy here. And I'd love to see you guys around here. And uh, you guys can join and hang out and do whatever. It looks like someone got a boat into my claim. So that's why I was worried about building, you know, down there is, you know, people are going to get stuff down here. But dude, look at this map. I just, <laughs> I can't get over everything here. It's so beautiful. This is a little bit of an eyesore whoever built this maybe you could change it up a little bit or maybe i could help you you could trust me here and we could rebuild it together on a stream or something but yeah guys let, let's go check out what's over on this side because remember people were starting to build stuff over here last time wow yeah well we're right over that little hill <laughs> so it's so funny got a nice little house up there it says neo on this side of it, it looks like a storage room and there's just like all this stuff around here, man. Everyone's going absolutely crazy. So again, you can play on your phone. You can play on your computer. Anything that runs Minecraft, we support it. Info down in the top pinned comment in the description. Anyways, I'm going to give you guys a secret code for today's episode. If you guys would like to enter it, uh, that will be kind of a, you know, like secret code or whatever that no one else will know unless you watch the whole video and only like 5% of people do. So you're in an exclusive group, okay? But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. Whenever the next episode is. Somewhat soon. Alright, see you guys later. Bye!